Major Music. What up? I'd like to welcome y'all to Major Music Major TV. It's your boy Ziggy Duck coming at y'all with another video. If this is your first time here at my channel, we talk things all music production, like the latest in music production gear that could also be like VSTs, sound expansions, um, or just general like marketing. Just kind of also feed off of each other. If that appeals to you, go ahead, hit the subscribe button. I usually release videos a couple of times a week and uh, also things like beat making videos and many more. And also you could follow me on Instagram at D dot underscore major music. That's D dot underscore major music. Sometimes I may post things on Instagrams that don't make its way to YouTube, but for the most part I post, I would say most of my content on YouTube. Uh, today we're gonna talk a little bit about the Arturia Micro Freak. I just got it yesterday. So far so good, I've spent about a day with it so far, made a beat with it, and uh, I like it. And you know, to those of you that have been following my channel for quite some time, you know that I've been exploring more and more working with the dollar setup. Not to say that I'm getting away from like Machine or Logic or Beatmaker 3 or anything like that. I make beats a whole lot of different ways, whether that's on my iPad, whether that's on my Mac. And then, of course, standalone uh, MPC One, and I'm just kind of adding to that. So, you know, most of you probably know I have the Uno drum and I have the Uno synthesizer to go with the MPC One, and now the Arteria Micro Freak. All right, since I got the chance to work a little bit more with hardware, um, I'm kind of liking that workflow a lot as well. You know, with my MPC opposed to, and again. I say this, I've said it once before, but I have an older Mac. My Mac is a 2013 model. Um, and it may take a long time to do something that I can do on an MPC on my iPad for that matter in a matter of like five minutes or so. It might take me 20 minutes from programs having to open and load up. Eventually I'm gonna get a new Mac, but um, so far I'm loving this whole all this setup thing. Everything that I create music on kind of allows me to create differently. Workflow is going to be different so that's why I kind of like working with one thing versus another um, and I kind of cycle back and forth through all three of those avenues, standalone hardware, iPad and Mac. For this I just kind of wanted to show y'all because I had a few people that were interested in the Arturia Micro Vegan. The reason that I went with it is um, I knew a couple of friends that had it already and I was kind of wanting a new standalone synthesizer and the price point is only $300 so it's something that I um, kind of had my eye on for quite some time. I already used the Arturia Mini Lab for my MIDI controller with my MPC as well as my iPad. This is not a review or anything, I just kind of wanted to show you guys uh, the micro free and you know, let's go ahead and get into it all right so as i go up here where i'm turning this is actually how you go through all the sound presets So, to the right of that, if you start to tweak some sounds and you find something that you want to stick with and you want to save, there's going to be your save button right here. You got your utility button right here, which is kind of, think of it in a way like your settings button. So, if you want to set up MIDI sync on it, for example, like if I wanted this to control another piece of hardware or software or vice versa if I wanted this to be controlled by something else this is where I can go ahead in the settings this is your master volume right here this is gonna be actually your digital oscillator right here now here you can actually go between different types so like I'm under uh, so I'm gonna go ahead and start from the beginning so you got your basic wave Got your super wave. Yeah. 
got your wave table and also like if you notice in here when I start to move the wave dial or now you notice that it'll change some of the settings here on the screen Got your harmonic. There's your FM synth. Now I like the chords feature function. And I could actually change the chords by turning the wave knob. Alright, you got your wave table. And we're just going back in a circle at that point. And then you got your speech which is kind of like a Vox plug-in in a way. In the center, you got your different filter. Got your two envelope sections here. Also, we could change the shape of the waveform. And then, if we go down here on the bottom, uh left corner kind of here you're gonna have your arpeggiator and then your sequence here now they also have some of the presets that are already let's see what we can find there we go uh, the BPM in which the appreciator is playing so it's one time and you'll notice that it lights up white whenever it's the appreciator or your shift is kind of like for your secondary control and that's to ac access the sequencing mode and then you just notice the pattern button just lit up here And then, of course, to go up an octave or down an octave right here on the bottom left corner. Now, inside the box will come with its own power adapter that it has right here, so I do like that. Um, the only thing I didn't like is it did not come with a USB cable. However, luckily, I have tons of those hanging around my studio here, so that really wasn't a problem for me. Now, also, if you want to connect MIDI, you do get these mini adapters right here. Get two of them. Both your mini adapters right here. So here you have your audio or your headphone jack here. 
output um, if you have anything like a sustained pedal CV gate out it's gonna be your MIDI in out now you got your on off switch right here and then of course where your power goes right here like the keys themselves it's kind of like a flat touch uh, surface it may take you a little get getting used to also have 256 preset slots and it does also come with 160 of its own preset sounds in it so um, it does come with a pretty good sound library and you know as you saw with the keys it's 25 keys polyphonic aftertouch so most of you guys that probably have handled like I'm not saying it's exactly like the worldly products but kind of in a way like it um, as far as it's not going to be as sensitive as the expressive touch, but you can notice a difference if you push with a lot more pressure versus if you don't on the polyphonic keys of the Micro Freak. So yeah, as I said, it's going to run you $2.99. Um, I got mine from Sweetwater, but I'm sure you could probably find it in Guitar Center or anywhere you can buy music production gear at. So I just wanted to kind of make this short video as far as, um, you know, a lot of people have been asking, you know, what's my thoughts on it. And, you know, I like it so far. Uh, not going to return it. Definitely not planning on returning it. And I just wanted something so that I can make music with standalone hardware not to say that I'm getting away from anything that I'm doing software wise but um, it's a little bit different workflow when you work with hardware compared to working on a computer if you found this video informative go ahead subscribe um, leave a comment down there let me know what you thought about it and you can also follow me on Instagram at d.majormusic and follow me on Twitter at d.mme and I appreciate everybody that's joined the channel in the past couple of weeks. Um, without your support, you know, I appreciate everybody that's enjoying the channel. I appreciate all the, the new people. And go ahead, leave a like as well before. Go ahead, leave a like in addition to the comment. Let me know what you thought about this video. And, you know, I appreciate you guys constantly support me it does help out this channel every time someone leaves a like and a comment and uh, let me know you know if there's anything as I say always if there's anything you see me using on this channel you want me to talk about it a little bit more in depth I don't mind making a video on it and you know I got a goal so what you know most of you that's been following me on social media probably saw my post earlier this summer I'm trying to get this channel to a thousand trying to get this to a thousand subscribers before the end of 2020 so um, once I get up to a thousand I think I want to start kicking it. once I get it up to a thousand I think I want to start having some live streams every week and we'll kind of discuss that one we'll kind of discuss that once we get there but yeah I would like to do live streams every week with everybody that's on the channel you know to come in and we could kind of network with each other so definitely when I hit a thousand 
when I hit 8,000 subscribers, I'm going to start the uh, live video sessions. So, again, go ahead, subscribe, and until next time, keep on making some dope beats.